Hi, this instructional video on the Shearwater Petrol Nitrox Recreational Mode will show you how to view, edit, and upload dive logs. The dive log menu has four options. You can display dive logs, upload them, edit the log number, or clear the log. So I'm going to go back into this menu and I'm going to show you what editing a log number does. If I edit here, the log number of the next dive will be this number plus one. So if I set this to 40, uh, my next dive will be 41. If I set it to 42, my next dive will be dive 43. That's what you can set here. It doesn't renumber any of the existing logs. If I go into the display log and press display, I get a list of all of the dives that I've done. It can store up to a thousand hours of diving, so this list can get very long. If I press view on a dive, I will see a plot of the, of the dive profile along with the max and average depths, the start time and end time, the date of the dive, the dive number, and the total run time of the dive. If now I press back, I go back to the, to the list of logs. I can view the next log here, and I can also edit the dive. And I do that by pressing the right button here. And what I can do here is I can change the log number if it was wrong for some reason, maybe you, you forgot to update it and you want it to match your total number of personal dives. Uh, I can also change the start time. This is in 24 hour clock format. So this would be 2 p.m. But maybe oh, I really did the dive at uh, you know 8.30 a.m. and I just forgot to set the clock on the, uh, on the petrol before I started my dive. So I can change that. I can also change the date that I did the dive or I can delete the dive um, and well I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and now you can see dive number 39 is, is gone I've deleted it can you get it back well, the answer is yes and uh, I guess ask us how and you can also delete all the all the logs if I press clear here it's gonna ask me am I sure and well yeah I am okay and now I go look at the logs and they're gone so Okay, I'll show you how to get them back. You enter into the log number 9997. And that's like a secret code for, let me undelete my dives. And why we did it this way, it's, well, it's a secret, I guess. Don't tell anyone. So now that clear all logs is restore all logs, or I can go and I see these grayed out dives. These are the ones that have been deleted. I can view it and I can edit it and I can undelete it now. Confirm that dive is now undeleted. Okay, um, that, that 9997 code um, stays so I gotta edit this back to to what my uh, my log number was actually at. And remember the next dive, okay I don't care for now. Um, whoops. Okay, and now I'm back to the to the old old way of doing things and I've just got this one dive. So I'll be going to my computer now to show you how to upload logs. I'm going to demonstrate how to upload dive logs from your Shearwater Petrol to your computer. First thing you'll need is you might need to install the USB Bluetooth dongle. Now if your computer has built-in Bluetooth like most Macs and even most uh, modern laptops. They already have Bluetooth built in. You won't need this extra dongle. If you don't have it, you plug this into your USB port and it will install the default drivers. And if you have other drivers installed on your system, for example Toshiba laptops often do, they might cause problems, uh, but contact tech support if you are having problems with that. Now you'll need to go to the ShearwaterResearch.com website and you'll need to download and install Shearwater Desktop. This is the program that you're going to use to download the dive logs. And you can download it for Windows and for Mac. Just click the link and it will begin downloading. Then run the installer. If that doesn't work, you might have to right click on the link and choose Save Link As. Save the installer to your computer and then run it. So I've already done that. And here is Shearwater Desktop once it's installed. Now to connect to it, what we will do is we will go to Dive Log and Upload Log. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to initialize the Bluetooth chip. And then now it's waiting for up to three minutes for a connection. And I will go to Dive Computer now, download DiveLog via Bluetooth, and press Start. It will now try to connect and download a list of logs. So these are the logs that I have on this computer. They're all checked for downloading. Now, if there was more than 48 dives, and there isn't on this computer, but this show more dives would allow me to query more dives from the computer. Uh, I'm going to deselect all of the dives. I just want to download a couple of them. And now I'm going to click download and it will download a few uh, dive logs to my computer. It downloaded three of them. Okay, so now I can review these these dives. This is my depth. This is my decompression ceiling. I can see the partial pressure of oxygen and nitrogen. I just turned those off. I can see the water temperature. That's this blue line. If I hover over it, it will show me. And I can see the battery voltage throughout the dive just by hovering over it. I can get more information by hovering over a point. For example, it tells me the time to surface at this point was nine minutes. Whereas once I had racked up some decompression, the time to surface had increased to 20 minutes. Uh, I had named this computer based on the serial number. Uh, you can change that by going rename computer here. And I can call it, for example, tutorial. You'll use that if you have multiple computers on one, uh, on one PC. So that's it. You can, you can add comments and notes to your dive and save those. And that's all. If I go, if I go download the dive logs again, I'll show you quickly. Again, so before I start the connection here, I have to prepare it on my dive computer. It will initialize and then wait for the connection. And now I can start. It's going to query the list. There. Now I have the list. And you'll notice dive 40, 38, and 37, those no longer appear because they're already downloaded. If I wanted to see those, I could click this, and 40, 38, and 37 are already downloaded. There's no need to download them again. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, there are third-party dive log software out there. There's quite a few of them. Google around for them. And a lot of them are more full-featured than our dive log software. For example, you can use multiple different brands of computers in their dive logs. You can manually enter dives. And I would, I would suggest check, check a few of them out. Some you have to pay for. They have more features. Some are free open source programs. And that's all. Thank you for watching.